In 2016, NVIDIA announced that it is working on a new internal processor for NVIDIA GTX cards, which is called GSP, GPU System Processor, and it offloads some of the tasks that were traditionally performed by your CPU, using the NVIDIA drivers, onto the GPU. In theory, this decreases latency and frees up your CPU resources, resulting in overall performance boost. In 2022, this feature was made available, and the hardware support is present in NVIDIA GPUs starting with 16 series. That means that 1060 doesn't support it, however 1650 and above does support it. Some of the GPUs will have it enabled by default, also Linux has it enabled by default, but in Windows it may be enabled or it may not be enabled. So to enable it in Windows, you need first to make sure that your GPU is 16 series, 20 series, 30 series, 40 series or 50 series NVIDIA GPU, and you must first check if it's not enabled already. So all you need to do is to open command prompt, insert this command, which comes with NVIDIA drivers, press enter, and then scroll up the results list until you come across a line which is named GSP firmware version. If it says NA, that means it is not enabled on your GPU. So all you need to do is to open registry editor, then navigate to this path, create a new dword 32-bit value, name it enable GPU firmware, and set value from 0 to 1. Save everything, reboot your computer just in case, then run that command in command prompt again, and this time around the GSP firmware version should show some kind of version. In this case, it's the driver version. If you did everything right, however, this option still is not enabled, this usually happens if you have several GPUs. For example, most gaming laptops will have something built into the processor, like an Intel video card or an AMD video card, and a discrete GPU, which is NVIDIA in your case. And in the registry, you actually need to find the correct section for NVIDIA configuration. For example, in this particular case, Following the same path, with 0000 at the end, leads us to the Intel configuration, not NVIDIA. If we change that to 0001, this is where the NVIDIA settings are actually kept, and you need to create the parameter here. After you do that and reboot, this will work. I've tested it on 3050 mobile GPU and 3060 mobile GPU from NVIDIA on a couple gaming laptops, and in both cases the feature was enabled. Beware, though, that this feature uses half a gigabyte of video RAM. That means if your GPU had only 4 gigabytes of VRAM, after you enable the feature, you will only have 3.5 gigabytes available. And also, this feature requires resizable bar to be enabled in the BIOS, so do it. However, most motherboards nowadays will have it enabled by default. And basically that's it, you now have it enabled. In benchmarks, it doesn't seem to give a substantial performance boost, but it definitely does increase performance, so it doesn't hurt to have this feature enabled. The only thing that doesn't seem to work is HDCP, which is a DRAM protection for video outputs. There are a couple programs that actually use this DRAM protection. One of them is Netflix, the other one is Apple Music, and Apple Music does not work if you have this feature enabled. And those applications completely freeze your PC until the watchdog silently reboots it. Someone incorrectly suggested that this feature breaks WebView 2 apps, which is the basis of Apple Music, but this is incorrect, since other applications that use WebView 2, such as Microsoft Teams or Microsoft Photos, work just fine with this feature enabled. So the problem is, HDCP is not working, which is a DRAM protection, and that's why most applications that use it, such as Netflix and Apple Music, will stop to work as well. I'm the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.